Hello everyone and welcome to my vlog show African Girl Answers, the one place for all Africans under 35. And yes, that includes those of you who don't like people from other countries, a term referred to as xenophobia. Sandra Fondufe. The H is silent like the silent H in the word honesty. And today, I will be giving you my honest opinion about what is going on in South Africa. And don't go anywhere because one of you lucky viewers will be winning a beautiful t-shirt of Mandela, a sign of the love that he stood for. Guys, I love South Africa. I mean, hate it or love it, it is the most visited country in Africa, you know? Uh, the music, the movies, the the culture, the dance, the voices. I mean, have you heard South African women sing? It's, it's amazing. And then you have, you know, an iconic figure like Mandela. And you have the fight against apathy and what he did for that. I love South Africa. And then you hear this embarrassing story that is so completely ridiculous. You say to yourself, what is really going on? And I have to say, it hurts my heart because after all the glory that the country has fought so hard to maintain, this is an embarrassment. But before I even give you my opinion, which is very strong, by the way, I want to tell you about the xenophobic attacks. What even happened? What is xenophobia? I'm going to read it for you, okay? Because I, I don't want to make a mistake in this one. Simply put, Xenophobia is similar to racism, but unlike racism, it is an intense or irrational dislike or fear of people from other countries. Let's see. So you're probably asking me right now, what does that have to do with South Africa, right? I want to tell you that the xenophobic attacks in South Africa are not new. So what happened last week? Last week, the Zulu people started launching attacks on foreigners from other parts of Africa. They burned their stores, looted them, took their stuff, hit them. They club people with machetes. And guys, I'm telling you that as you can see from these horrible pictures, that stuff wasn't a joke. People were forced out of their homes and to date, at least five people have died since last week. I mean, this is completely terrible. Um, 2,000 foreigners, more than 2,000 foreigners are right now seeking refuge in, in little camps that have been set for these people. It's like, what happened? What caused these attacks? According to local media last week, you know, the, the king of, of the Zululand, his name is a Goodwill Zuelithini. He held a local gathering with his people. And it's, it's alleged by the media that during this meeting, he asked, he, he asked that the foreigners go back to their homes because they're taking the, the jobs of the South African people. <laughs> That's funny, Mr. Zulu King. Very funny, I must say. His office, however, denies this. They say he had nothing to do with this and that the media is merely misquoting him. How about this, boo-boo? We don't believe you. You know why? Because during the protest, the, the, the rioters could be heard singing and chanting. The king has spoken. According to, 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 to government records, there is a very high percentage of unemployment in South Africa right now. The level of unemployment is estimated to be at least 25%, and that is high. That is very, very high. So the people feel that the immigrants are taking their jobs, and they, as South African people, don't have jobs in their own country. President Jacob Zuma, while addressing the people, spoke about the social and economic concerns. And he said that he does acknowledge that these concerns are there. And that since he's been president, he's working hard to make sure that these issues get addressed. Several South Africans took to the streets last week to protest, saying that, you know, what happened is not good. And I, I applaud them for that. Now, to my opinion. Guys, I mean, I have a very strong opinion about this matter, but I'm going to try my best to be as objective as possible. Why? Because, first of all, you know, it's fair. They're humans. I have to try to understand why they're doing what they're doing. Second of all, you know, for the sake of the rest of South Africa, you know, when something happens, I, we can't blame the entire nation of South Africa, just in a similar way like when Hitler and the Nazis were mean to the Jews. We can't blame the entire nation of Germany for that. Just in the same way like, you know, when Boko Haram is bombing people, we can't blame the entire nation of, of Nigeria for that. Because there's, because there's good people and there's bad people. So um, for, that, for, that, for that point, you know, just, just for that reason, I choose to be objective on this matter. So first of all, 
let me let's try let, let me let me enter the brain of a Zulu man and try to understand what happened here okay I can understand that you know some of them feel marginalized by the government you know that no matter how hard they work the odds always seem never to be in their favor that's understandable that reminds me of the same kind of marginalization that other groups of people would face in the world that's that happens I can completely understand you're angry you're you're irritated you're you have mouths to feed you have children to clothe you have bills to pay I understand that I can completely understand that here's what I don't understand here's what I'm gonna give you shit okay I don't understand this I need to remind you of certain facts I need to remind you or bring to your attention certain facts that I feel like you may have forgotten one of them is this name, Nelson Mandela. Ring a bell? Nelson Mandela? Does that ring a bell? This man is a South African just like you. For 27 years, he spent his time in Robben Island under the most unfavorable conditions. For this? This is how you pay him back? This is how you pay him back for standing behind your country and making you guys look so good because people let me tell you something whenever you do something sometimes you forget the implications of your actions on other people you're selfish most people are not gonna sit down and be objective about this they're gonna say south africa you those who never did anything the babies who are not even born are gonna suffer for what you just did completely negating the efforts that nelson mandela put in and not to Nelson Mandela, but all the other people who I don't know about who struggled during the period of apartheid. Guys, apartheid, do you remember? Do you even remember that word apartheid? Do you remember how dark it was for South Africa? It was such a horrible period, people. And guess who stood by you? The rest of the world, when you were being marginalized, when you were being treated like shit in your own country, the rest of the world stood beside you. Guess who was part of that world? Africans, other African countries stood by you too. Where they did not have money, they had a voice. They had a voice and they used your voice to make sure that your children didn't have to go through what you went through at that time. This is how you pay those people back? This is how you pay the African, the same African country, this is how you pay them back? Xenophobia is a horrible thing. You were angry at the white people for treating you like shit during Africa. You are doing the exact same thing. When the tables were turned around, you did the exact same thing. How are you different from the white man? Hmm? How are you different from the person that will oppress you? You're not different. Same, same shit. The exact same shit. How are you going to cry? And then when your wound is healed, do the exact same thing back. That is my problem, people. You don't understand the implications of what you're doing. You don't understand that. Are you going to tell me that because your leader asks you to do something, you're just going to follow them blindly and do it? Are you a dog? Are you not a man? Do you have a, a box of ice in your head where your brain should be? Do you have a, a chair where your heart should be? I'm sorry, you have intuition. I'm sorry, you have intuition. You have a brain and the job of that brain is to think before you act, dude. Come on now, you know better. And to make it worse, we're all Africans. We already have so much suppression being put in our way. Are you gonna... I'm sorry, that's bad. We already have so much going on. We cannot hurt each other, we are brothers. That's not how brothers act. You have a problem, I get it. Take it with the government, not with your other fellow brother who's just trying to make it, with, make it for his family just as you are. Come on now, come on. And then, and then this is the funniest part for me, right? The funniest part, they are taking your jobs and increasing the unemployment rate. They are taking your jobs and increasing the unemployment rate. Look, I'm 25, okay? I'm very young, and so I shouldn't be talking to you, but I will, because this is wrong. I have a question for you. Are you telling, you know, I'm gonna put my iPad down for this one. Are you telling me that in South Africa, there are no black people who are successful. There is no successful lawyer, no successful teacher, doctor, healer, philanthropist, whatever, whatever it is. There is no successful person who is black. Is that what you're telling me? Don't they have the same government like you do? I'm sorry. I understand you. The government might be whatever they are. But 
This is what the rest of the world does. We all have suppression being put against us in one way or the other. And this is what the rest of us do. We stand up and we go get a damn job. You have to meet the government halfway. I'm sorry. Get a degree. Be educated. And if the government is still not going to hire you, guess what you do? Create a business. I'm tired of this blaming everybody else but yourself. Are you telling me that you've done every single thing that you're supposed to do and nothing happened? That's not true. There is always something else that you should have done. People. And I'm saying this to not just the South African people because they're on the spotlight today. I'm talking to everyone. I'm tired of playing the blame game. Yes, I'm suppressed by X, Y, and Z. Yes, this person hurt me in this way. Yes, this person did X, Y, Z. But I had a responsibility. And my responsibility is to my own self. My responsibility is to those who are coming behind me who are going to have me to look at. Do you want your children to learn from... Is this what you want your children to do? Huh? I don't know. Maybe that's what you want. But anyways, I'm going to go ahead and end the show here because I've said exactly what I have to say. Before I go, I want to say to those foreigners who have been inflicted by this, to all the people who are going through it right now, I am so sorry. Don't do anything stupid. Do not fight violence with violence. Pack up your stuff and go home. Figure it out. It's going to get calm and then perhaps you can come back. But don't do anything stupid. It's not worth it for your own dignity. To the rest of the South African population, I'm sorry guys, I'm sorry that this had to happen. And I know it's been happening before, but I'm just saying that we all are brothers and sisters. You know, we have to love each other. There's, there's no need for all of this. And frankly speaking, even if we're white, pink, yellow, or blue, same thing, we're humans. Come on now. I'm your host, Sandra Fondufe, the H is silent. Follow me everywhere on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. I love you guys. And don't forget that one of you can win this amazing t-shirt. All you have to do is do a short Instagram video tagging us and mentioning the hashtag Suba, talking about the xenophobic attacks and why you think they're wrong. All right, give us your honest opinion. This is an objective show. We are, you know, expressing ideas here. It's, it's however you feel. I love you guys. Until next week, Suba! Hello. <laughs> T'as quelque chose à dire? C'est sans droit, c'est bon de te Ah, ah, ah. African girl, wait till you do too. Fondu fait getting for tell you. So grab your rubber and get your shoe and get to the nearest souvenir. You're crazy. Oh, hey, 